It was one of the most heated, most controversial meetings the Nashville City Council has ever seen. And after it was all over, the victims were a multi-million dollar flood wall and a multi-million dollar jail. Both were voted down. So what's next? Chris Conti is live with the answers. Chris. Well, Vicki, the plans to move this jail here might be dead, but this ailing facility might finally have some new life breathed into it. But the same cannot be said for the flood wall downtown. Someone, when you say someone is dishonest and can't be trusted, that's just wrong. After the fireworks had flown, do you think that's appropriate for our finance director to be calling us council members liars? And the accusations had settled down. It became clear Mayor Dean's legacy would not include a new jail or a massive new flood wall. You don't want to put all that beauty behind a wall. Dodd Galbraith is a professor of sustainability at Lipscomb University. Basically spanned all of the low-lying areas of, of, the, of the main waterfront of downtown. He thinks the 1,100-foot flood wall in a large part sank because public input was basically non-existent. Outlines by construction crews even show the mayor got ahead of himself. And Dodd isn't sure a standard flood wall is what the city needs. This is not a problem that's going away. Every major city in the world is dealing with unpredictable weather, and we need new uh, creative ways of dealing with these unpredictable weather events to deal with them effectively. Downtown might not be protected from a major flood right now, but for Dodd, even this failed plan, in a way, succeeded. I think Mayor Dean did us a real favor by putting his proposal on the table because without a proposal, there's no incentive to have dialogue. It was one of the more interesting nights that I've witnessed. Sheriff Darren Hall also lost something last night, a new jail he believes the county desperately needs. The current one is on the brink of failure. We didn't have much time, and that felt uneasy to the public. And it probably felt uneasy to all of us trying to get information out. Lost in the fray, though, was a unanimous vote allocating $113 million to renovate the current jail. But my biggest fear was to wake up with nothing. And had they just removed our money, we would have nothing. One project now dead and another just barely hanging on. Sheriff Hall hopes to be able to have renovation plans for this building drawn up sometime within the next couple of months. Construction, though, wouldn't be done for two years. We're live downtown this evening. Chris Conti, News Channel 5 HD.